Welcome back to Elden Ring. I took a look off camera at Siofra Well, or Siofra River rather, looking for the way to Nokron. Now that we've defeated Radon, all the stars are back in place. However, I didn't find anything. I'm almost inclined to just Google it, but I'm not going to do that. I don't want to spoil myself. I'm sure I'll figure it out eventually. So, yeah, not going to Siofra River. Instead, let's explore more of Kaled. Starting from Rotview Balcony. Let's actually continue past Rotview Balcony, up north. I've never done that yet. We've already been to the Minor Erd Tree. There's some catacombs at the bottom of it. Yeah, there's a huge, huge pot boy. Oh, this probably directs you to go down to the catacombs that I've already been to. Yeah, it does. Because I can't use it. means I already found the destination. Whirl of Flame. Probably an incantation. Yep. Only takes 13 faith. Sweeps area before caster with stream of fire. Sorry, doggy. Greatsword. Takes 31 strength. A coarse, a coarse iron lump of an ultra greatsword mows down foes by utilizing its incredible weight. Though handling it likely requires the wielder to have surpassed the realm of the merely human, it's precisely for this reason the weapon is used to slaughter even inhuman foes. Sorry to interrupt your snack. Ow, okay. Yeah. Something incredible, Ed. Seek friend. I know that big pop boy. I wonder what the best way down there is. I think, if you look at it, there's this valley that leads over to the deep sea off for a well. So I could probably could just teleport there and then go through the valley.
Oh no, the giant's shooting at me. Oh, there's another giant there. Okay. Set of grace. Try back. Kalem ruins. Oh, I see one of those flame things peeking out. These ones that explode. They don't explode if you kill them. I think I want one of these to explode. Yeah. Oh, actually, they don't do that much damage to the others. They knock them down, but... Oh! It's awake.
pack ahead. Try sleep. Hmm. Can I apply anything to this weapon? I don't think I can. I can tell if it lets me... Yeah, use is grayed out. Grayed out. Sleep. Grayed out. Yeah. Because it already does elemental damage. Causes blood loss buildup. And also does magic damage. Well, since that's a boss, I want to finish exploring up here before I go there. Oh my. Piles of burning corpses waking up. Oh, there's another one. Last time. Two of them. Oh, damn, that hurt. Oh, woo. would you stop that? <laughs> oh, no, they're doing it again. Oh, oh, yeah, I got my drink off. Okay, one down. Ooh. 
No, I don't want collapsing stars. I want... Magic Limp Blade. I totally forgot my flask of, uh, physic. Ah! Oh no, it's a shield that looks like those... Burning contraptions, flamethrower contraptions. It is a great shield. Takes 44 strength. Guard boost of 75. Trixum bronze shield depicting the face of a fire giant. Several tongues leap from its open mouth. The dreadful visage and burning flames are designed to remind one of the horror of facing a fire giant. In other words, this shield has an instructional function. <laughs> Oh my god, look at that thing. Oh, I need better strength to be able to fire, fire out of its face. They just look at it all confused like, huh? How does this thing work? Let's continue down the road. Track my wondrous physic. What if there's anything at the top of this, whatever this is? What if it's another skull? Almost got the melee attack off. Whoa, is there an inside here? Could this be a head? Yeah, exactly what I was thinking. Oh yeah, those are teeth, aren't they? Here's another one of those skulls. Wait, how did I miss? I thought I was able to hit anything I could target. I think it's coming up slightly short. Maybe this will do it. Yeah.
give you so much XP. <clears throat> Oh, there's a finger reader crone over there. And also a telescope, which might be useful here. Haven't found it useful before, but the map is so hard to read in this area that it might be here. I do not have the Sight of Grace. South Festival? Yeah, I'm sure they're talking about the Radon thing, because that was a festival. That duel. Not sure what they meant to the east. Hmm. Oh, the Beast Shield Sanctum is up there. Not that far away. Okay. So we're overlooking the Swamp of Aeonia. Yeah, they mentioned the heart of the Scarlet Rot, which I think the heart was where we found that needle. The Siofra Well is somewhere there in that, in that crack, which then leads over to where that giant pot is in those giants as well. Let's teleport to the deep sea off for a well and then head to where that pot boy is. Oh, wait a minute. Hold on. Actually, before I head there, this way will take me to the swamp of Aeonia. That is going to bring me to the other end of that place we found. Um, well, I'll just take you there. It'll be obvious once we see it. Hard to explain, but yeah, we found it and we just couldn't get up. Oh. I haven't seen one of you in a while. <laughs> I thought maybe the stones would be enough to break its poise or something, but nope. Battling those on horseback is still a terrible idea. Uh oh, using my shield doesn't stop that. Oh, it's a nice bear hug. It's so warm and fuzzy.
that's the thing I heard stomping around when I was down there. Stone Sword Key. Yeah, I remember we were down there when we fought that ball of magic. Okay, now let's head to the giant jar. They're going to be a problem. That crit did like 5,000 damage almost. Ooh, what is this? Gravel stone. That's new, I think. Found in lands once beset by ancient dragons. Small clump of sharp pointed stones. Such compound stones found in lands once beset by ancient dragons are said to be the scales of those very beasts. Whoa, <laughs> that's a nasty looking shield. Only takes 20 strength, causes blood loss buildup. Large wooden shield covered with spikes. Though relatively light, it lacks in damage negation. Designed to perform shield bashes, these attack attacks riddle the enemy with holes, earning it the nickname of Pard Shield. Nasty. trying strong attacks to see if that would break their poise faster, but it doesn't seem like it. Looking at the profile of one of those skeletal lichen faces or whatever. <laughs> That's so dramatic. And it looks like the roots are going through their mouth almost like they're they're bound by it. Like a cloth in someone's mouth.
Don't give up, knight. Rushing in and then cliff. Try madness. So big? Hold on. I don't know what just died. Hey. Hello. <laughs> you can now see the Knight of the Great Jar's red summon sign. Knight? Oh. Um... Is this PvP stuff? No, I don't think it's PvP. Do I have to defeat them all to be let in? Is it like... a challenge? One of the notes said rushing in and then cliff. Well, it just looks like death. <laughs> Don't have the right. Behold skeleton. Oh, they're yeah, they're looking at the face. Yeah, there's nowhere for me to go to like get anywhere. Head. Indeed. Alright, let's fight these things, I guess. Knight of the Great Jar. Knight of the Great Jar. Yeah, these are definitely not real players. Wow, that didn't do much. What are you eating? Stop eating. Oh, ho, ho. Whoa. Right. Well. Let's try that again. I have that spell too. Okay. This is a great time to test out. Uh, coll not collapsing stars, Night Comet. Because it's semi invisible, so I wonder if that meant that they won't be able to dodge it. And that does seem to be the case. Oh, you even have Loretta's Great Bow? Woo! You got cool spells. I like you. Yeah, this is great. They don't try to dodge it. They can't see it. Oh, you even have that moon spell from Renala. These hurt me. 
There were like, I don't know, something they casted that put a thing on the ground. I hope I don't have to defeat all three back to back. I hope that one, the one that I defeated, is just gone for good. Because they didn't even give me any of my potions back. Oh, that one looks like a heavy. Oh, that one looks nasty too. Ooh. That one looks dexy. And this one looks heavy. Although they also have a staff. So they might be kind of magic as well. Hmm. Go with Night Comet again, because I think all of these are going to dodge any magic that I try to cast at them. It just takes up so much FP is the problem, but let's try to melee them. Alright, here we go. <laughs> I'm scared. So they do blood. And poison. Oh. They almost poisoned me just there. You. Oh my god. <laughs> oh no. You have to defeat all three. And they're also randomized. These are different. Yeah, these are totally different. Oh, Jesus Christ. I... I, I don't think I can do this. Okay, I have an incredible amount of souls, so I'm going to put on a sacrificial twig. Do I have one? Oh, I guess I... I guess I don't. Never mind. Well, whatever. Let's try one. Let's try doing... Magic Glint Blade. freaking health they have. Jeez, okay. Well, bye. I don't think I'm ready for that yet. I got my souls. Went somewhere else. Let's level up. I'm gonna come back there. I think I want another endurance, because I want to be able to hold both my weapons without having a rune arc used and without being heavy rolling. Let's see. Is that enough? No, I'm still in heavy load, but maybe one more point in endurance and I'll be able to do this. Uh, but yeah, let's continue from Smoldering Wall. And I guess I'll use a Rune Arc. That castle we already went to. Yeah, that's Fort Gale. That's the Swamp of Aeonia.
Nice. Look at that group damage. I love these stones. <laughs> Where did those stones go? Bye. <laughs> they were like, eh, it's my lunch break. Don't give up. There's a shield. Oh, maybe down there? They got a pumpkin head. Again, that group damage so good. Here? There's nothing there. Oh, I thought that was the Swamp of Aeonia, but this is its own little mini swamp. Could be something in there then. Ah. going to lead us to a crypt. I would guess that it's back here. Oh, needs keys. Praise the old codger. Oh no. I'm safe. I'm in a long animation. <sighs> Gowl Cave.
Trap ahead. Think carefully. Be wary of underground. Okay, so it's going to come out from under me? I did it! Why is it always trap? Pickle. Oh, we got those exploding skeletons. Ah, I'm sorry. I might have just made a mistake there. I don't see any way in there. I think I maybe needed them to blow up to open the door. Uh. Can I get the other one's attention? Oh damn, yeah, that worked. I didn't open it, though. How the heck do you get that item in there, then? But yeah, that's very interesting. The rocks summon kind of in front of you, so they actually summoned inside the cell. That is potentially abusable. Exploitable. Don't give up, old codger. If only I had a water side. Water side? What? I think they're trying to say if only they had water? Oh, and they want to put him out. There's another item in there. Maybe all the cells are going to open behind us or something. Lever required ahead. Yeah, there's a lever to open them all. Sneaky little bastard. Oh, there's the lever. Don't give up, skeleton. You can do it. Just pick up your bones. Turtleneck meat. Oh. Why is it always sinner? It is a sin to eat turtleneck meat. Oops.
trio ahead. Make that duo. Make that uno. I didn't expect that door to open. Think carefully. That's the lever. Hidden path ahead. Come on out! Oh, this just heads down here. Wait, is that right? Yeah, okay. That leads somewhere. Eh, let's go there. Why not? Look carefully. Visions of something incredible. Let there be shortcut, but first off, lever. Right, wait, now we're just... Wait, weren't we just here? Oh, right, we went that way. Well, I want to make sure I don't miss anything. Wasn't quite what I was trying to do. Ooh, Wakizashi. Stone sword key and a golden rune. Piercing required a head. What? Definitely a hidden pathway.
Oh no. I think this might be a boss arena. Oh yes, Frenzied Duelist. Putrid Corpse Ashes. Lovely. These spirits appear some distance from the summoner, but their movements are dull and confused. Their low moans make them effective at drawing the attention of enemies. True death does not come easily for them. Wait, where is this? Regalia of Eokide? That looks like a very pretty weapon. We're very close to Fort Gale. Huh. Let's check out those two new weapons. First one is the Waki Zashi. Causes blood loss. Not that much though, 38 is pretty poor. But of course it's unupgraded. That might increase. Mm. Oh, it's a dagger. I thought it was a sword. Short sword with a tempering pattern on the blade. A weapon unique to warriors of the Land of Reeds. Afflicts target with blood loss. These swords are considered auxiliary weapons. Yet one man is known to wield this weapon in his left hand while using a full-sized katana in his right. A demonic swordsman known only as Okina. Auxiliary weapons. So it sounds like something special maybe would happen if you use that in your left hand while using a full-size katana in the right. Which we can actually do. Yeah. We'll put the wakizashi here in the left hand. So... Attacking with the left. Oh, yes! If you attack with the left, special stuff happens. Yeah, if I use the um, the right button and right trigger, it just does the normal katana stuff. But left combines the two. So that'll get you additional blood loss. In addition to the blood loss for my right-handed weapon. Both causing their own separate blood loss. What about the strong attack? Okay, so it just uses the, um, the Ash of War from my right-handed weapon. Oh, that's really cool. Is that unique? To having, like, does that only happen if you have it in your left hand and then a katana in the right hand? 
What if I had something else? I don't know, the flail. Yeah! You have the flail, now I'm using the left-handed attacks and it's only using the left-handed weapon. The flail's a very different type of weapon though, what if it was like, I don't know, a curved sword. Not a katana, but still a sword. No, still only using the left-handed weapon, so it is unique to katanas. Has to be a katana type. That's really cool! Like such a small and important detail hidden in the description. That's really cool. Um, let's check out the other weapon. Regalia of Eokide. It's a dex weapon and an arcane weapon, so I can't really use it, unfortunately. The treasured Sword of Eokide, a lesser, long-vanished domain. The copper coloration is not to be confused for rust, but is a conduit for its wielder to move it by their will alone. Swords of Eokide dance through the skies. And then the special. Infuse the sword with energy, then fling it forwards in a corkscrew attack. The sword continuously deals damage while violently spinning. Charge it to increase reach and duration of the spin. That sounds so cool. It's such a unique look. Look at that. It's so pretty. Basic attacks are just normal. We saw that attack from the um, the the something hunter we met in a church once. That boss that just suddenly appeared. I'm sure the damage is going to be terrible because I can't wield this properly. But let's try it out on an enemy. Okay, down to super long range. Yeah, the damage is so bad because of my stats. I'm upgrading my shield for the first time in forever, and if you upgrade it enough, you can get an increase to the guard boost. It's quite minor. Like, I have to get it to plus four just to get a guard boost increase of one. From 49 to 50, but... Hey, let's do it. Especially with Smithing Stones 1 and 2, those I can buy unlimitedly. So, I don't really care about those. Oh, it's about to go to 51 guard boost. Okay, now it's going to take Smithing Stone 3s, which I can't buy unlimitedly, so I'm not going to do that. Well, I think this is a pretty good place to end the episode. Hope you've enjoyed so far, and when we return, we're going to continue to explore Kaled.